Hi everyone! Group 1 is here with you today to show the Stork and Grim Reaper activity. This activity will illustrate and explore how birth rate and death rate affects the population growth or the population size of a particular country. When the birth rate is greater than the death rate, population grows and this has been the case globally for the last 200 years. In fact, the current birth rate is 2.5 times than the current death rate. In doing this activity, you will have these learning objectives. First, define birth rate and death rate. Second, explain how birth rate and death rates impact population. Third, describe why the global death rate has dropped in the recent history. Today okay, everyone, our activity for today is entitled The Stork and the Grim Reaper. The objective of this activity is to identify or observe the effect of birth rate and death rate to the population size of the world. So here are the materials that we are going to use in this activity. So here we have the container that represents the earth and the water inside it represents the population size. As you can see, we have here the starting point marked by the brown tape. And currently, we have the ratio of birth rate and death rate as 20 is to 8 respectively out of 1,000 population. So, we have here two different scopes measurements. We have here for the um, death rate and we have here for birth rate. So, let us proceed with our activity and let us know what would happen if we have the unbalanced situation between the um, death rate and birth rate. So let us proceed. As you can see from this activity, the water level in the first bowl rose. So what could be the reason for this? It is because he is adding more water than was being removed. This implies that the increasing water represents the increasing population. So what does it say about birth rate and death rate? It tells us one thing, that when the birth rate is greater than the death rate, the population grows, or when we are adding more people than we're taking away, then the population will really continue to rise. In the stage 1 of demographic transition, both birth rate and the death rate are high because of diseases and potential food scarcity. But as the country develops, advances in medicine, sanitation, and food security continue to improve, which cause the continuous fall of that rates in the recent days. This time, let's try the demonstration using the Philippine setting. This bowl represents our country, the Philippines, and the water inside it are the people or the population living here. The Philippines has a birth rate of 20 births per 1,000 people and is represented by this one-cup measure. On the other hand, the country has a death rate of 6 for every 1,000 people and I will be using the one-fourth cup measure. Using the birth rate cup, I will add water to the bowl and remove some from it using the death rate cup. So let's see what will happen.
Now, let's observe what happened to the population of the Philippines. As observed on the activity, the bowl representing the Philippine population was almost full and doesn't decrease for every transfer. That's because the birth rate of the Philippines is greater than the country's death rate. As of 2021, Philippines have 7,255 average live births per day, 302.31 in an hour, while we only have 2,027 average deaths per day, equivalent to 84.45 in an hour, almost 250% lower than the value of our country's birth rate. Projected, Philippines population increasing by 4,790 persons daily this year 2021. Among all the Philippine population, 25% lives below the poverty line, wherein they do not have access for proper shelter, good nutrition, and quality education. 25% of our population lack access to proper sanitation. Remember that our resources can only sustain a specific number of individuals. And if our population continuously grow at a rapid pace, more Filipinos will experience a scarcity and even inequality. When birth rate is greater than the death rate, populations grow. But when death rate is greater than the birth rate, our population will shrink. Therefore, we need to have the same rate or almost equal birth rate and death rate to achieve sustainability. 